新年快乐，万事如意 ，Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Dr. Leslie. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today is very special because I've got Alicia Chin with me. Wow, I feel very, very honored. I feel very, very special. I'm very happy to be here, Dr. Leslie. And we're gonna cook Hokkien and me. <laughs> Hello, I'm Felicia Chin. I'm a, I'm a media club actress and I'm also World Vision Singapore's ambassador. I'm Dr. Leslie and I write, I eat, I shoot, I post SG. You'll probably see my cooking video. I'm also a practicing GP and a World Vision child sponsor. Wow. Mm. Dr. Leslie, can you share mm. with me a bit about your child sponsorship experience? Yeah, so I started uh, this child sponsorship program after we came back from Myanmar, after uh... we visited the village because we were doing a project, you know, I eat, I show a post and a group of friends uh, were doing a project to raise funds for to build a school. Nice. So after we came back, we thought, okay, we got extra funds, let's put the funds into uh, sponsoring the children also. That's yeah. wonderful. I sponsor two children from um, Tai Chi as well. Yeah, I, I'm just very touched when I went there and yeah. I saw a lot of... Um, uh, I saw the families, the children, mm, and even yeah. the older people as well when yeah. they were given uh, new opportunities for agriculture, etc. Yeah. I really feel happy that um, a little contribution helped them um, in a holistic way and I felt happy to be a blessing to them. Yeah, like, it was a such nice a feeling. practical way of doing it, right? By, by doing a child sponsorship, actually it's just not about providing a meal for yes. them. It's just making sure that they have enough funds to go to school, enough money to buy school books and also ensuring that the parents uh, have uh, uh, enough income in the family so that the kids don't have to work. Yeah. yeah, and I think it brings a lot of hope to them. That's what I saw in their eyes. Speaking about hope, right, it's the New Year season now. There's new hope, um, new good food mm. and a lot of um, gatherings with family and loved ones. And yeah. today, right, Dr. Leslie, you're going to teach me how to cook Hokkien Mee, your version, gonna right? I'm going to show you my way of cooking Hokkien Mee. Uh. Something that you can do at home mm -hmm. and yet you get a very nice flavour. Oh. We're going to start with prawns. Okay, these are what we call swalo. Swa law, which are sand prawns, right? Okay, okay. These are actually cheaper than those anka and you know tiger prawns. Yes. Swa law are smaller, but they are uh, the original prawns that they like to use for cooking. So nice. first thing, we are going to boil the prawns. Okay. We cook them, just quickly cook them. Okay. So that they firm up, so that we can peel off all the shells and make our stock. Ah, mm. nice. So next step, we're gonna peel the the prawns. Okay. So shells on this side. Shell. The prawn meat on the other side. Oh, okay. Prawn meat here. Okay. okay. I can imagine uh, in, in some of these uh, countries, mm -hmm. uh, some of the kids they are in the city, they will be roped in to go and do this kind of labor, right? Because mm, mm, mm. You, know, I, you can imagine uh, uh, when you have commercial, uh, you have a lot of prawns, you need someone yes. to they'll get you know, cheap labor. Uh. Some of these oh. kids uh, are drawn into things like this and yes yes because uh, there are actually a lot of children in the city mm -hmm. who are largely part of the urban poor mm -hmm. they are earning a living because yeah. a lot of times their parents mm -hmm. cannot find a job in the city from the village they travel to the city yeah. hoping to find a job but yeah. there's a lot of lack of job yes. opportunities and yes. because of that a lot of children need to earn a living in garment factories or you know mm. food factories like what you said mm -hmm. i'm glad that you know World Vision has a campaign that has intervention programs for them, yeah. for these for these children. Yeah. And um, as we are feasting, you know, um, mm. there are people out there who might need a little more blessing as well. And mm. I think if during this season, you know, yeah. it, it touches your heart to want to bless them as well. You can check out the um, this campaign more than your campaign too. We've done it. You're actually quite a good prawn peeler. Thank you. Is it because you cook a lot or you like to eat a lot? <laughs> I like to eat. I like to cook as well. Maybe not as well as, well as you, but then I, I like to cook. Okay, like very good, very good. So, next step, uh, we're going to prepare some garlic because garlic is is a key ingredient. Mm. Alright? It's okay. a key ingredient. Now, that's okay. the secret of Hokkien Mee. Yes. Lots of garlic. Oh, I didn't know that. A lot of garlic. Oh, okay. cool, cool. Actually, I really like how you are cooking noodles today, Dr. Mm. Leslie, because I think noodles transcend a lot of um, um, countries. Yes. Uh, everyone eats noodles, just yes. different versions of noodles. Yes, yes, yes. And I, yes. I, 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 I cheap, like that. One of those staples, la. Yeah. And it's affordable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's affordable, but you can also create it into something like, really, you know, um, special for Chinese New Year. So now we've got the garlic, we've got the prawn shell. The next step is to fry 
the garlic and prawn shell. Okay, so okay. we're still making the prawn stock. Uh, we're gonna turn on the fire. Okay. We just wanna heat up the garlic and cook it until we get the nice garlicky smell. Mm. Okay. Why do you choose to, to share this Hokkien Mee today, Dr. Leslie? I think Hokkien Mee is for Singaporeans, right? Uh -huh. It is the uber Singaporean noodle dish because it was invented right here in Singapore. Wow. Yeah, I hope you all get, you know, Hokkien Mee is such a Singaporean dish, we should be very proud of it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, actually, you do have a knack for cooking. Really? Because fortunately, your mom didn't let you use the kitchen, uh, right? Yeah, are you watching? <laughs> you know, chef Felicia, you know, Michelin star chef song. Oh, man. Huh? Okay, Felicia, I think yes. ready. I'm going to turn off the fire. Okay. And then we're going to transfer all the shells into the into this pot. So, so this is another bit of my secret. Uh -huh. This is dashi. Ooh. So I use a bit of the Japanese. Okay. Uh, technique because uh, dashi is very nice for the umami flavor. So I'm just going to add in a bit of dashi. Okay. A few pieces of rock sugar or so. Mm. Just to give it a, a nice sort of balance. Lah. So are you ready to blitz? Yeah, sure. I'm going to blitz it. Okay. Okay, make sure you, you put it in. Yes. Slowly. Ah. You just Maybe for the first go, you just blitz once. Ah. Okay, okay, I try. Then if you're comfortable, then you go okay. So you blitz it until all the all the shell becomes pulverized. Oh. So it's simmering away. I think yes. it's ready. Wow. Uh, let you taste some of the stock. Wow! <laughs> wow. You know what they say, oh, right? Eh. Yeah. yeah. Salty, mm. sweet, mm. thick, rich. So this is the key. This is the whole key. Nah. No. Okay. No. Uh, so all we need to do now is to uh, fry the egg and the uh, uh, noodles. Fry okay? egg and noodles. Yeah. Okay. We wanna cook it until it's a bit brown. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So so when the eggs brown, it yeah. gives it uh, extra flavor. So, so I'll leave the bottom to brown. Okay. And then we'll throw in a bit of the noodles. Oh, we can do top. together. Yeah, you put the noodles on top here. Okay. Yeah. So this is a bit of so uh, fish sauce. Okay. Just to give it a bit of flavor. Nice. I like it that you're keeping it long. See, you're getting closer and closer to the wok. I think you want to cook, right? Come on, you try, you try. I think you want me no, to no, cook, no, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> see, cannot tahan. Uh, see, so fun, right, cooking? Yeah. Actually, cooking is very fun. Nice. Okay, I think we're almost there. Yeah. So, this one is done, right? Yes. So, we can transfer all the noodles into... Oh, this, this is very handy. So, at this stage, all you need to do is to turn on the, the heat, throw in the stock. Okay, I'm like there. swallowing my like saliva now. And then you cover it up. And then just let it simmer. And then I'll prepare some uh, of the toppings. Uh. So, so topping wise, any seafood. And I got some shioba. Shioba. Mm. Okay. Yay! Oh, there. Look at that. Then you agree, very presentable for Chinese New Year. Okay. Huh? So you cook it and then you bring it onto the table, everything is still bubbling away. Everybody gets very excited. Celebrating already. Yeah. Okay, okay, come. okay. Let's let me give you some. Thank you. Oh. Oh. A good noodle dish, such good Hokkien meat. Okay, mm. I'm, glad you, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're happy with it. I'm so you're going to do it at home, you think? Now that you say it, I must. <laughs> yeah, I must, I must. But thank you, thank you for bringing such a wonderful dish to, to me, to a lot, of, a lot of us here for Chinese New Year. This mm. Chinese New Year, may you also remember children from um, countries like India, Philippines and also Bangladesh, which World Vision is also reaching out these uh, vulnerable children in urban cities um, with their more than a meal campaign. Yeah, yeah. For us, it might be just an extra ampa. For them, it's one month of food and you know the ability to go to school. So, uh, you know, if you are interested, check out the World Vision website. Okay, so until next time, we wish again all of you a very happy Chinese, Chinese New, New Year. Year.